Well, I'm out here on the Illinois River in northeastern Oklahoma, and uh, today I'm going to be fly fishing for some smallmouth. I've got about 12 miles here that I'm going to float. My, my shuttle guy didn't show up when he was supposed to, and so I'm starting about two hours late this morning, but uh, it has been extremely hot, 100 degrees days for I don't know how long, but uh, but there's no no better place to be than, than on the river chasing smallmouth. It's 100 degrees, so that's what I'm going to do today. I've got, <clears throat> I've got my eight weight with uh, some sink tip line and I'm gonna start off start off with this guy we'll see how it goes but just just gonna try to cover a lot of water today but yeah we're gonna go give it a shot and see what we can get into get it by this log right here fish on Nice. Yeah. Little bitty. <clears throat> nice. Things are so feisty. Nice. Don't go in that wood. I saw him hammer it. Number four. Haven't even made it a quarter of a mile. Nice. Fish on. <laughs> Look how beautiful this fish is. I just love these smallmouth, man. They're just so beautiful. Really painted up, man. Ozark smallmouth right there. Beautiful. Get him back in the water. Well, it's about two o'clock and I floated a few miles. I just checked my Onyx uh, maps and uh, I'm quite a ways away still. So I've been doing a lot more paddling than I'm fishing, but the holes that I do hit up, I uh, seem to be able to pull a fish out of them, but uh, there's starting to be more and more kayakers and floaters now that the afternoon is uh, progressing. But, but I'm gonna grab a bite to eat and um, look at my map one more time, see how much longer I gotta go. and. I love using Onyx map because I can I can download an offline uh, map and uh, download it and then uh, it'll track me you know so I can tell where I'm at on the river and and you can still have a have a map even though you don't have uh, cell service so um, like you know a lot of people use it for hunting but it's great on a river as well so I checked that and uh, I'm 
I'm a long ways away from my takeout, so if I wanted to do more fishing, I probably should have went on a shorter trip, but I just kind of wanted to check out this uh, 12 mile stretch because I hadn't been in, I hadn't been down here in years and years and years. So I'm gonna grab a bite to eat and uh, head down the river. Woo. Well, I got off the water. It was a very, very long float. Floated about 12 miles. Caught several, several smallmouth, especially right off the bat when I was actually fishing. I fished probably the first mile and then um, was trying to get back. So I ended up paddling most of the time. First, this morning was great. Overcast, really active and round wood and, and fast water. Just throwing it behind logs and uh, they were crushing it. But it was all in all, it was a great, great float when it's 100 degrees there's really no better place place to be than in the water um this river the water temp feels amazing it was a lot of fun but tomorrow i'm, I'm meeting henry and we're gonna float in the morning but great day great day to be out on the water and we're gonna do it again tomorrow and see if we can catch some more smallmouth All right, we're back out on the river today. But this morning, um, me and Henry, we are going to hit up a different section. What, four, you said four and a half, five four miles? Four and a half, five miles. Henry's got a YouTube channel. He makes uh, knives, custom knives and fly rods, which they're amazing. I mean, the, the, the artwork and the, <clears throat> the customization, I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty awesome, so. Um, and you, you, you've got a YouTube channel. Is it just called Henry Walker? Yep, Henry yeah, Walker. so Henry Walker, but check it out. It's, it's pretty cool. So, but yeah, we've been trying to get together and do some fishing for a while now and finally we're able to meet up. So we're going to go give it a shot and see what we can get into. Here we go. Got my coffee, my fly rod and a beautiful river. And it's going to be a good day. Well, we've made it a few miles down. We're catching something here and there, a bunch of small ones, but uh, just a nice day for a float. But we got a few more, few more miles to go and see if we can land a good smallmouth. But having a great time. Most of the fish that I've been catching are in faster water around behind trees, basically wood um so pretty good oh this must they must like this I just love the way these things fight. 
Nice fish. Well, we're about a mile from, uh, probably from our takeout, but uh, it's been a fun, fun day, fun day for sure. We, the fishing started picking up. Um, I switched, I switched to this. And, uh, but anyways, we're about to take out. We've had a good day. Well, we just got off the water. It's a nice float. Yep. How many fish did you catch, probably? So more around 10, 12, 10, 10 to 12, same for me. So it kind of heated up as the day. Fit, the bite started getting a little better as the day went on, but just a great day to be out on the river. Um, it's probably a, but Henry, Henry took care of me today. <laughs> I forgot my lunch and water. So uh, if it wasn't for him, I'd be starving and dehydrated. So, but uh, it was a good time. I had a heck of a time. I appreciate the, the fly rod. I'm definitely gonna put it to the test so beautiful man it's fun we'll have to do it again yep so anytime well i gotta go load up the camper and head home oh so, anyways enough of my rambling get off here <laughs>